The quality of modern acoustic systems and some loudspeakers can be assessed in different ways. We are used to compare, first of all, manufacturers, designs, prices and packaging arrangements of all materials according to the production quality of acoustics themselves. Of course, we also evaluate the product on the exterior, that is, we want to see its full-scale capacity. In most cases, the manufacturer himself is responsible for the quality and long lifespan of important and domestically produced acoustics. To some extent, we also determine this by protecting the devices from excessive sound challenges. However, a loudspeaker is a device which often has to operate in deteriorating conditions. Its cone is never spared, its voice call is constantly vibrating and the soft multi-chord supply lead is always bending and eventually it breaks either at the cone base or at the supply terminal pad. However, you can repair loudspeakers on your own in several ways. If the voice coil has crumbled, then there is no sense in repairing it as you will save both time and money if you just buy a new one. Sometimes cones tear from excessive loads. This is usually the case with, with domestically produced loudspeakers when the cones just dry up. You can glue them up, but the quality won't be the same. The case with a flexible multi-court supply lead is different though. Here you can try to fix it yourself since there are minimal time and money expenses. The lead break can be detected orally. It will have interrupted sound dropouts. So after having detected the cause, we may start repair works. We cut the leads at the cone base. Then we desolder or cut leads of rigidly fixed terminals. We carefully tin coat the leads of voice coil on the cone. For a new lead supply, I use a stranded flexible wire with a fluoroplastic heat resistant insulation. We make a spiral out of the wire, for example on a screwdriver of a corresponding length. Then we skin and tin coat both leads. Now we install a ready-made lead supply instead of the removed one. Unsoldered spots on the cone must be filled with a thick layer of glue. Thus our job didn't take much time and means. This method has proved to be successful in practice. Although it is a bit primitive, but it's still possible to use the loudspeakers for some more time, in most cases for a long time.